Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Prime interview experiences. These interview happened yesterday only. That is on 15th June 2024. So total two Prime interview experiences I will be discussing in this video. So make sure to watch this video till the end because every question I will be explaining in the detail. Okay, and guys, from past 15 days, I am making continuously making videos regarding TCS and QT. So earlier I made videos regarding important interview subjects and important interview questions. And recently only I am making videos around different different interview experiences for Ninja Digital and Prime profiles. So if you have not subscribed to the channel now, please subscribe it because I will be posting videos later also when the result comes and what is ILP and also all those videos also I will be discussing uh, on this channel. So make sure that you are present on this channel. So do hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button because every like is motivating me for making more such videos. So do share this video among your friends also so that they can also get to know and prepare for these interviews. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, do hit that like button. Okay. So guys, first of all, I will be discussing the first prime interview experience. So first, if there is self introduction, as you all know, uh, we can include our education background, our skills, our in, uh, our projects, our internships, and our extra activities. All these things we can include here. Next question is explain your project in detail. So guys, in project, I have I have made a separate video that how you have to explain your project in detail. In that video, I have discussed how to explain project. What are the commonly asked questions from project? Like the challenges you faced. Uh, why? What was the idea behind this project? Was it a group project? What was your role in the project? So all these questions I have discussed in that video. I will try to give the link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to watch that video. Okay. Moving to the next question is explain about day-to-day -day life task that you want to automate. So one thing I want to clear that here the candidates projects were related to machine learning uh, and some cloud computing also. So therefore the, these questions were asked. Explain about day-to-day -day life task that you want to opt automate. So anything that you have in mind, so you can like try to tell the interview that okay I face problem here. I want to automate this task. Okay. Next is what are the advantages of cloud? So again the uh, the question is very common and very simple. The advantages of cloud are scalability, cost effective efficiency, accessibility, disaster recovery. Collaboration, security. Okay, so all these are the advantages of the cloud. Next is what are the ledgers and types of ledgers in the blockchain? So types of ledgers in the blockchain are public ledger, private ledger, uh, hybrid ledger. So all these are the uh, types of ledger. I will not go in detail just to give you a, a slight uh, overview of the answer. Okay. Moving to the next question is what are your favorite subjects? So in this, the candidate said that OOPS and SQL is the is is his favorite subject. Okay, so then few questions were from SQL. So what is the difference between SQL and NoSQL? So here, uh, the major difference between SQL and NoSQL is that SQL has a schema-based uh, thing, and NoSQL is a schema-less database. Okay, so here fixed schema is there, here dynamic schema is there. Uh, here is a structured query language that is here the uh, in SQL that data is stored in the form of tables, whereas in NoSQL the data is stored in the in the key value scenario. Okay, so it is. Uh, Vertical scalable, it is horizontal scalable. Okay, so I hope now the difference between SQL and NoSQL is clear to you. Next question is, what is the difference between row number and row ID? So again, uh, it's an SQL question only. So a sequential number assigned to each row in a result set based on the query is a row number. Row ID is a unique identifier for which a row in a table often assigned by a database. So this is what a primary key is. So this is the major uh, difference between row number and row ID. Okay, so if you are uh, till here, you are finding this video. Useful, then do hit that like button as well as subscribe for this channel. If not, then so. Okay. Moving to the next question. What will happen if we delete a row which includes a foreign key? So there are two to three things that can happen. So first of all, no action prevents the deletion of the row if it has related foreign key entries in the other table. So if we are trying to delete a row and if it has a relationship in the in the other table, so it is quite possible that uh, it is quite possible that by deleting this. Uh, uh, It, the deletion of this particular row will be prevented because of the parent-child relationship from the other table. Next is restrict. So again, restrict is same as same as no action. That no action will be done. Next third thing is cascade. That is, we will delete the row from this table and it will automatically delete the parent-child relationship from the other table also. That is, it will delete the parent row from the other table also, for in which their relationship exists. So this is what a cascade means. Delete the row and all related rows. In the child table that references the deleted row through the foreign key. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is what is cascading in SQL. So cascading in SQL refers to a set of rules that automatically apply certain action to related rows in a database when a row is updated or deleted. 
so there are two primary types of cascading action on delete cascade on update cascade when a row in the parent table is deleted all the related rows in the child table are automatically deleted this is what a cascading means on update cascade means when a row in the parent table is updated the related foreign key values in the child table are automatically updated to, to reflect the changes so this is what the cascading is if any uh, operation is done on the parent table so it is automatically transformed to the child table as well so this, this is what a cascading in sql means next question is how will you identify a person in a network so this was a question from the network so a person in a network can be identified through various means such as ip address the ip address are unique to a device connected to a network next is mac address next is username password authentication credentials used to log into a network service okay then is digital certificate then is biometric data so all these are, diff are different type of uh, ways through which a person can be identified in network so answer to this is can person be identified in a network is yes how will you identify a person in a network so these are the five steps any one of which can be used okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is what is dns resolver so i have told you in dns resolver also uh, that is present in my notes so this is a similar definition here also so a dns resolver is a server or service through that translate domain names like example.com into their corresponding ip addresses see the network through which we like access a site does not know what 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 is google okay what is google.com so what happens is that when we type as a user we type google.com then it goes to a dns resolver so what dns resolver does uh, it is it is uh, it is a mapping between that domain name with their ip addresses so then once you type google.com the dns resolver gives us the corresponding ip address and through that ip address our packages are delivered in the network okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is are ip addresses same for a website in a different region so answer is no so ip addresses varies from region to region for the same website also okay so i hope this question is also clear to you so this was the first in prime interview experience that was like that uh, happened yesterday which i have discussed so if you are finding this video useful then please hit that like button or the subscribe button as well as we have recently launched the notes okay we have recently launched the notes for tcs important interview subjects in this there are total 12 different different pdfs that we are giving to you and each pdf correspond to a particular subject in that subject we have what we have done we have uh, curated the actual interview questions actual interview questions so if you will uh, read this description what i have written so these pdfs are specifically designed for the preparation of tcs ninja digital and prime role to make these pdfs actual interview questions are considered so for example if you will click on the c++ pdf so you will find out that okay the important questions or the commonly asked questions in tcs related to c++ are mentioned in that pdf so similarly we have done for java also python also operating systems also machine learning also cloud computing also so all these different different pdfs are clubbed into one this will be really helpful for you while you are revising your concepts or while your last minute preparation for the interview so this is at a nominal fee of 99 rupees all the pilings are in the description box so do check these notes out they will be really helpful for you so now moving ahead to this second digital or say second prime interview experience so again the first question will remain same introduce yourself next is what do you know about tcs so again uh, whichever company you are giving interview for can be asking that what is the latest news about tcs that you know next question is explain the project again i will give the video link how to explain the project in the i button or in the description box so do check out check that out next is what is a bitwise operator and tell tell all bitwise operators so bitwise operators are operators used to perform operations at a bit level to a binary numbers okay but at different types of bitwise operators so there is and operator set each bit to 1 if both bits are 1 there is or operator there is or operator there is not operator there is left shift there is right shift so these are six types of bitwise operator that you must know okay move into the next question write a code for multiplying and dividing a number with 2 without using arithmetic operation okay so let's just see that how to Uh, multiply a number by two with the help without using arithmetic operator. So what we will do? We will be doing the left shift operator. See x left shift one left left shift one. So let's suppose we have uh, currently we have two. Uh, let me increase the font here. So we have two here currently. So two is here. So two is in a binary form can be represented as, but it can be represented zero one. So this is the binary representation of two. now if we will like move this bit by one one left shift we will do a left shift operator on this two then this two the binary of two will become like this if you will do a left shift operation 
okay so this one has gone here and now another zero has been inserted and this is equal to this is equal to 4 so see 2 has become 4 by just doing one left shift operate operation so this is how we can multiply a number by 2 without using out operator okay moving ahead next is written write the code for creating doubly linked list and deleting a node in the doubly linked list so again it's a very like easy question you can simply search on the google also that how to create a doubly linked list node and how to delete a doubly linked list node Moving ahead, next is explain cloud computing. So again, what is a cloud computing? That entire processing happens at cloud. There are no physical servers at our end. So through our end, we just we use virtual machines to uh, like uh, deploy our code and all the operations happen there. And all the servers are at the AWS side, which is maintaining them. Okay, so this is what a cloud computing is. Next is explain OSI model in CN. So OSI model comprises of seven layers, application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. So each layer, just single single definition is clear to you. I have like de described all these things in detail in my notes also, as I have mentioned earlier. Links you can find in the description box. So, but if you will see, majority of the questions are asked from the notes itself. Okay, so I hope this OSI model is clear to you. Next question is, what is the difference between interpreter and compiler? So I have given here. You can like take the screenshot for it okay moving ahead with the next question is will you do night shifts so always say yes in these questions but because at the end uh, what will be your location and what will, will, will you be doing night shift or not it will depend on the project that you will get in your when you join TCS so currently in these questions you can like say yes okay you can say like this and guys if you are finding this video useful and informative till here do hit that like button because every like and subscribe motivates us to make such videos okay moving to the next question uh, do you have any problem with the relocation so you can, you can answer no that you don't have any problem with the relocation next is how long will you work here so tell uh, see you can here it is there is no specific answer you can't say two years or five years or ten years you can say that till the time i'm getting the work uh, i'm finding the work challenging and i am like growing as a person and uh, my tech stack is also growing so i will keep on working till here till my like till i am getting good work okay you can tell like this next question is do you have any relative do you have any relative working in tcs so for this uh, the student answered that uh, his brother is working yeah his sister and brother do working i told okay so i think he answered here that no no relative is working in tcs okay moving to the next question in your batch how many students are there in your class so again it's very simple question Next is I told about my family. They asked what to uh, what study do your sister do and brother do. So yes, uh, in TCS in the HR round they can ask you about your family background. That what your mother do, what your father do, what your siblings do. So all these type of questions can be asked from you in the interview. But again, these are very simple questions. You do not have to prepare these questions beforehand. You can make the answers uh, at that moment only, and you will be good to go. So yeah, this was end for the second time interview experience also. And if you found found this video helpful to you so do hit that like button and subscribe for this channel and do buy our notes because these notes will be very much beneficial for you for your last uh, last minute preparation and for the revision purpose okay so this was it for this video thank you for watching this video